And Paul Turan has a very different reason as to why the markets gained three tenths of a percent in South Africa today, Paul. Yeah, no, it's definitely not this. <laughs> that was actually the top 40. But tell us why the markets gained ground today, because you, you're laughing at my German uh, IFO numbers. Yes, were really German sort of IFO numbers. Bananky Who cares issue. about that? Oh, Bernanke, yes. Now, there was something about Bernanke, and then people said, oh, then there's going to be QE3 forever. But the real reason the stock market is up strongly today is because Tiger Woods won a golf tournament on the weekend. And as all, you know, right-thinking people realize, that's the sign that it's, you know, back to the winning ways of yesterday. So he's Two and a half years ago, he lost won a tournament. At that mm -hmm. point, the Dow was like, I don't know, 9,000 or something. So clearly we're going to rally strongly from here. Are you finding a between Tiger Woods' uh, performance relative <laughs> to the performance of, of the Dow? Well, if you needed one signal that all of our errors of the past had been forgiven and that it's now going to be strongly, you know, upwardly mobile, it's that Tiger Woods has won a golf tournament. Well, the Masters is coming up. right, because we're fixing the same thing, with, uh, fixing the problem with the same thing that created <laughs> the problem. But let's not talk on Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> bats listing failed. This is a funny story from Friday. So there's this thing called bats in America. So unlike our JSE here and all the other markets in Africa where nobody trades anywhere anything other than on the market, in America they have what are called electronic clearing networks. So big institutions will have these like dark pools where they agree to swap stocks away from the market and then it gets reported. Anyway, bats has about like 12% of the New York turnover, so it's a big company. They decided to do an IPO of themselves on their own market. Sounds cool, don't you think? But earlier in the day, just before they were about to list themselves on their own market, they caused the stock of Apple to crash for like five minutes. On Friday, Apple was suspended because there were some weird orders coming through from bats. Literally, in the course of the same day, they then had to scrap their entire listing and they just withdrew the whole thing and it was totally and terribly embarrassing. So it's kind of like a stock market trying to list itself on its own market, which had an epic fail in the morning and had to pull their IPO. It's been described as the worst IPO in history. Okay, but surely they could actually list on their own stock exchange. Yeah, well, Jones maybe they'll have to just wait until everybody forgets the embarrassing pratfall of, you know, Friday. They change names like Kraft has <laughs> to Mondelez, I think you Call say, themselves yeah? something else and okay. come back next week. Good <laughs> we idea. We have um, MTN and Sassel in yes. Iran. Yes. We have a lot of sanctions against Iran, including South African sanctions. Well, as you know, based on my three hours of Wikipedia research from before, I decided Iran wasn't a problem. But now I'm beginning to think it could be a problem again, because I was at a very, very high-powered lunch party yesterday involving the senior, most senior bankers. I am in rolling my eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell in me. Johannesburg. And they were saying that officials from the State Department have been coming down here and basically getting very heavy with anyone who does business with MTN and Sassel and Iran, and it's just beginning to sound a bit of an anxiety-inducing situation. So I'm giving that one some close consideration at okay, the moment. Okay, but you own MTN. We do, heavily, heavily, and we bought like millions just the other day, and you know, we're always buying them. So now we're worried. You've bought millions of m shares, millions, millions of rands of of worth of shares. We own hundreds of millions uh, of rands what about, of these I mean, things. What would you be doing with Sassel right now? Well, I think what Sassel is going to do is going to give the keys to that Aria plant in Iran to the other guys that own the 51%. They're literally going to say, cheers, chaps, you can have the whole thing. We're gone. But such is their ambition with regard to you know, the North American market. The problem, of course, for MTN is that they can't do that because it's such a big business. Thank you so much, Paul. Great to have you in the studio. And before you leave, please pick up the pages that you <laughs> dropped a little earlier. Paul Teron from Verstag joining us on Mad Markets. <laughs>